Several years ago, Meran Mat Yusof found the falling rubber leaves around her kampong home a nuisance, especially when winds blew them into the house. All she did was sweep the dead leaves into a heap and burn them. The 59-year-old mother of three lives in a village here where her house is surrounded by rubber trees. Her income used to be from the cup lump rubber that she tapped in a small holding. But like all other tappers, the price plunged about 10 years ago. She was then finding it hard to make ends meet. Uh, saya mula mengusahakan perusahaan bunga daun getah ni pada uh, tahun 2010. Uh, di bawah bimbingan Rista. Rista menghantar kami kursus uh, untuk belajar cara-cara membuat uh, apa daun tu dijadi daun getah yang asal tu dijadikan kerangka daun getah untuk membuat bunga. Meran said that was when she picked up the art of using the processed leaves to make artificial bouquets and other handicraft, a move that is paying dividends now. She left her tapping job and ventured into this field in the cottage industry together with her friend Kamaria Jamil. Kami uh, tempat sekutik daripada pokok yang uh, sepatu pokok yang baik dari pucuk tu tiga ke bawah maknanya daunnya tak tua dan tidak muda. Lepas tu dia rendam di dalam room selama sebulan. Ah, dal, 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 rendam dalam air biasa. Lepas tu selama sebulan bila daun tu sudah apa kloropil dia tu dah 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 hilang, kita basuh dengan air biasa. Dah hingga sehingga bersih lah. Lepas tu ah, di ah, dibantu dengan air dengan klorok untuk memutihkan daun. Lepas tu kita ambil dan keringkan. Muran said they then spray paint the leaves with various colors and shape them into various flower products, with most of them framed. They make great gifts. She said the proudest moment was when the organizers of the Sukma Games in 2010 decided to order the artificial flower bouquets that are given away with the medals to the winners. Kita pernah mendapat tempahan daripada Sukma dari Melaka pada 2010 iaitu bunga untuk iringan uh, para pemenang iaitu pingat emas, pingat gansa dan perak. Uh, kita buat tu sebanyak 3,000 uh, tangkai lah. Bangunan ni uh, Rizda yang suruh dipindah ke Mali. Dulu kita menyewa di bawah. Uh, tapi oleh kerana sewa makin lama makin naik kan. Jadi dia suruh kita pindah di atas ni. Jadi pada bangunan ni kosong, uh, mereka membenarkanlah kita menggunakan bangunan Rizda ni. Saya ucapkan terima kasih banyak-banyak juga lah pada Rizda kerana banyak membimbing kami daripada tak tahu apa-apa sampai kita boleh apa menjadikan ini sebagai pendapatan tambahan untuk keluarga kami. However, things started getting a little slow after that and they were hampered by the lack of marketing skills. This was when the Malaysian Rubber Products Manufacturers Association (MRPMA) stepped in to boost their business. Ah, uh, dan yang paling besar yang dalam dua tahun ni kita dapat tempahan daripada Persatuan Pengeluar Produk Getah Malaysia (MRPMA). Ah, uh, jadi kita orang banyak banyak ucapkan terima kasih lah sebab uh, banyak tempahan yang mereka buat daripada kita. MRPMA President Yao Kok Kwe said they saw a great potential in this business as the capital expenditure is as good as zero and with rubber leaves easily available, this cottage industry could be developed into a money spinner. This is a good step. Uh, it's a step stone for our association to organize this as, uh, exhibition and then to help the industry right, to uh, promote their product. Especially now uh, for our allies, we have uh, six categories. So one of our main uh, category is the rubber leaf. Uh, so uh, I found that this rubber leaf is a very good product to promote to international uh, market. Yao says it's real hard work, but profits can be really good. And his association is doing its bit to help the smallholders to develop this craft production and to create income in which they hope to grow this business together. I saw that the dry flower also is a very big market. But why not we got this very good 100% uh, uh, natural and handmade product. Maybe uh, we, we should be right, promote to international market. 
Same, and then the meanwhile that we also can be help the smallholders to generate extra income during the rainy seasons, you know. So uh, this is what uh, association intention uh, Try to not only, not only help the manufacturing, we also try to help the upstream, the smallholders, you know. Yao says the MRPMA is thankful to the Malaysian Rubber Council for jointly organizing the IRICE, which will be held from the 6th to 8th September this year. The Minister of Plantation Industries and Commodities, Datuk Zuraida Kamarudin, is launching the run-up to the event on 14th February at the One World Hotel in Pataling Jaya.